the entire car was going to explode. In October of 2017, I bought the world's first Lamborghini Huracan with Bitcoin. And this started off one of the most, the grandest journeys that I could ever imagine. Really, when people buy cars, I think there are different types of people and when they buy and build cars. But for me, when I bought this car with Bitcoin, I had a vision in mind for what it needed to be. Now, I'm sure you and, and any other car enthusiast has cars that have changed their life. I can remember seeing my first Lamborghini Diablo on a poster, my first Lamborghini Aventador that changed my life. But I tell you, one of the cars that changed my life was the first time I saw a 1980 312 T5 Formula One car, Ferrari Formula One car. What was really cool about this, this Formula One car back in 1980 is that it had this really nasty looking hood scoop and then this fat V12 and this wing that came up like this and it was like an airplane wing, airplane wing. And so it was really fat and thick and out the back, out the back, two fat long pipes. And so when I bought this Lamborghini Huracan with Bitcoin, at the time it was worth $200,000 worth in Bitcoin. I had a complete vision for what this thing needed to look like. It needed to look like a 1980 Ferrari 312 T5 with big pipes coming out the back, big wang. I mean, it needed to look awesome. And so this, this Bitcoin Lamborghini was a complete, it was a complete journey of two years. And in those last two years, we have had some of the biggest press. We've been in Maxim, we've been in CNBC multiple times. We've been in a DuPont registry. We've been in Yahoo, Yahoo Finance. We've been KBS News, Korean News. We've been all over the world. And so uh, we have, from my best estimates, about a quarter billion views, a quarter billion impressions that have seen this Bitcoin Lamborghini. And so I wanted to make this thing awesome. It had to be awesome. And so the first thing that we did was we ripped off the back. Had to rip off the back because, I mean, if we're gonna make this look like a, a 312 5T Formula One car, the, the had to be hanging out. So we took the back off and then we put some straight pipes on this sucker. This is the way a Lamborghini is supposed to sound. Okay, we're talking about blocks, block, piston, pipes. That's it. No cats. We, I mean, headers, not, nothing. It's just pipes that are V-banded on to the headers. That's it, they're just, they're just be banded on. And then they're just positioned. Uh, and we have these little, these little hooks that, that hold the pipe uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the naked bumper. So this is pure, raw sounding Lamborghini. It's the, the loudest Lamborghini. I mean, this is the Lamborghini you wanna buy. This is the Lamborghini that you want to have because it's so raw, it's so visceral, and it, it rattles your teeth. It, it has to. After we put on these straight pipes, we had to go with a big wang. And so I saw Alex Choi out west he bought this big, huge carbon fiber wing uh, from a company called Sadistic Ironworks. And so I called Sadistic Ironworks up. I said, hey, I need to have this, this wing. I know, you know, who cares if Alex Choi's done it first? Doesn't matter. I want this wing. I had them custom fabricate these really cool looking uh, triangles up, up, the, uh, up the mounting system, but that wasn't enough. It wasn't, it wasn't enough. We had to do more because when you, sometimes if you look on YouTube and you see these, these videos of these old formula cars, and there's fire coming out, right? And so being the world first Lamborghini Huracan purchased with Bitcoin, I had to, I had to add flames. And so one of the things I did, I went down to one of my friends that lives down in Noonan, a great mechanic. We got together and we started calling. Flamethrower kits, flamethrower kits that you can find like for Mustangs, Chevys, these types of things where that kind of the flame comes out, it's really farty looking. And so we kept calling these guys and every single one of them told us that it can't be done. The reason is, is because the guys on the phone kept telling us there's too much back pressure. You're gonna be blowing way too much back pressure into these spark plugs. And I, we kind of understood this theoretically, but when, you, when someone on the phone tells you you can't do it, Challenge accepted. <laughs> da, da, da. So we set out to make the world's first Lamborghini Huracan bought with Bitcoin also become the world's first Lamborghini Huracan straight pipe flamethrower. So the first thing that we did is we bought spark plugs. So we bought uh, copper spark plugs, I think silver spark plugs, platinum, and then we bought uh, iridium because we didn't know which one was gonna work. So we bought all four of these. Drilled some holes in the two end pipes drilled some holes and put the spark plugs in it. So the next thing we had to figure out is we need to 
hook a wire from the spark plug to the to the um, to elect electrical box. After that, we had needed to figure out how could I activate these spark plugs. And so we came up with this idea of running a wire down through the engine bay into, uh, through, the, through the fire shield, into the back, into the front of the car, through the armrest, and we have this little custom black button that when you press this button, it turns on the spark plugs in the back. So we thought, problem solved. No problem, we got this. So turn on the car, you know, we're, we're turning on the car without the engine on, and we're pressing it, and we're checking, hey, does this button, this black button, does it turn on the spark plugs? Works. Great. Perfect. No problem. Turn on the engine, press it, accelerate, blows it out, just like the guy said. Too much back pressure blows out the spark in the, uh, the spark plug in the pipes. And so we had to figure out, so how do we get a bigger spark? And how can we reduce the amount of back pressure coming in. So I came up with this idea of how about we take a knife and we extend or pull the plating, the metal plating up so we create a bigger spark between the, between the grounding and the metal plating. But the problem is, is you need more electricity. And so we had to go on Google and had to figure out how to put more electricity from the electrical box through here by pressing the button. Once we did that, it still blew it out. We put our science minds together and we figured out we needed to turn off the engine at the same time. And so with a little bit of Google work, we, fi we figured out how to press the custom black button in the middle, right under the red ignition button, and that would turn off the engine, turn off the uh, spark plugs in the engine, turn on the spark plugs in the pipes, and so we would be shooting straight gasoline through the p entire system out the back. Don't do this at home. It's not safe. We're scientists. <laughs> And so after we'd figured that out, we had flames. The largest flame we got was about eight feet long. Right now we're shooting blue flames because we changed it out to iridium spark plugs, which gives a nice blue flame look, and those shoot out about four feet. So the world first Lamborghini Bitcoin Huracan straight pipe flamethrower. So while you're driving, you can, ex you can rev it up. Let's say, you're in, let's say you're on 285 or 85 and you're in, let's say, uh, fifth gear, you rev it up to about 7,000 RPM, hit the button, engine turns off. Keep the gas mashed, it'll just be shooting gasoline right through the entire engine block, right into the pipes, and you will be shooting flames about eight to 10 feet as you're driving at you know, 65, 70 miles per hour. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. There was nothing that happened during this build that is, was any, anywhere near relatively being safe. Okay, so we just need to make that fundamentally clear that nothing that they were doing is 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 safe, and I had many moments when I truly believed that I was going to the entire car was going to explode. There's a couple of scary moments. One moment is with when I'm with my friend, and he's in the car, and I'm out the back, and we're we're testing out. I think we were testing out platinum, uh, the platinum. Pl we what we had to do with these these spark plugs. We had to take them apart because I needed to figure out how these things actually worked, and so we ended up taking out apart. We I think we ended up going through. 14 or 15 sets of spark, I mean, a lot, I mean, these spark plugs are only two, 250, so it's not a whole lot of money here. When we were figuring it out and, 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 and trying to figure out which one was better, either your, sil your platinum, your iridium, right, which one was better, we had to open these up and figure out which one created, had a bigger resistor inside of it. And so we found the iridiums once had these really interesting resistors that if you actually removed part of it, it would create a bigger flame. Okay, so this, these are the types of things that we were end up doing. So these things are taken apart, there's the ceramic part of the, uh, of the spark plug, so we had taken that off, and we put these things in the pipes just to see how it works. And while we were doing that, while I was installing this thing, he was pressing the button, and the car was, it wasn't on, but the entire car became electrically charged. I don't know what I had done, but there must have been something metal that, it, that I kicked or something into the car, and an entire, poof, like, poof, like, like just smoke. Something went up in, in flame but dis obviously disintegrated, whatever it was. And it's, it scared the bejeebies out of me. I, I pulled back, I was like, oh, I, I thought I had something, I, I thought I had died, or I thought I, and, and I was like, stop, stop, stop messing with it. And there's this smoke, there's this smoke coming out of the side, right under the, on, on the real wheel coming out like this. And uh, there, there are a lot of moments like that that I, I, would, uh, I would recommend not trying to do. Now that we are almost literally two years to the day, the anniversary of the purchase of the Bitcoin Lamborghini, 
it is now time to move on. This has always been a project, and this has always been something that really opened up for, for us and, and the company that I, I, I work for, a uh, cryptocurrency company. For us, it was really an opportunity to use this as a marketing platform. We got over quarter billion, maybe even more now, quarter billion views on this card. No, you know, obviously, uh, thanks to VinWiki for almost two million views on the first video. Uh, but this gave me opportunities to see the world. It gave me opportunities to meet people from all over the world, talk about my two passions, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and cars. In February of this year, I finally got my SCCA racing license. And what does any responsible, newly minted SCCA licensed racing driver do? They purchase a Bitcoin race car. <laughs> So I, I purchased a race car. I bought a Radical SR3, first generation. I went down to Tampa with my friend Jason. We bought this Radical SR3 and I have been modifying it and growing into it and loving it completely. And so the Bitcoin Lamborghini has met its end. We have built it out completely to be like a 312.5T Ferrari formula car. I've matured this year. I got my SCACA racing license in February, I bought a race car in March, and I'm on the road to hopefully maybe even be a gentleman driver, who knows. But the Bitcoin, that, but the Bitcoin Lamborghini is done, and if I modify it anything more than what it is, it really will become something that is not the true visceral experience that I want in a Lamborghini. So for that reason, it is now on bringatrailer.com. So now that this Bitcoin Lamborghini that I purchased at $200,000 worth of Bitcoin, but at its height of Bitcoin in 2017 was worth almost a million dollars in Bitcoin. Now it's worth about $400,000 in Bitcoin. And since I bought this Bitcoin Lamborghini, which is at its perfect, it's at its perfect, a perfect place right now in the build. I mean, if I move any farther or I change anything in this Bitcoin Lamborghini, it's not gonna be the exact vision that I had for it. And so since I purchased it for $115, I don't think it would be fair for anyone to have to pay more than they are willing to bid on. So we're starting the bid at $115 and who knows? But it is a piece of history and it has been all over the world. My face is now on Chinese ads and Russian ads. They're, they're, they're scammy ads, by the way. But if you see my face on a, on a Russian or Chinese ad, don't click on it. It's, 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 it's probably, it's probably scammy. Going somewhere in a hurry, ma'am? Let me explain your options. Never mind, I got this. TheTicketClinic.com